Hi, I'm Leslie with Depend. In this video, we're going to talk about urinary incontinence. Urinary incontinence is the medical term for bladder leakage. It's defined as any involuntary leakage of urine. Basically, you're going when you don't mean to go. And it's pretty common. Over 65 million Americans experience some form of bladder leakage. That's about one in four people. And although it can be related to changes in your body as you age, it's not just the result of getting older. In fact, almost half the people with bladder leakage are under 50 years old. It can happen for a lot of reasons, but it's important to remember that bladder leakage is not a disease. It's usually a symptom of something going on in your lower urinary tract, which is where urine is stored and then eventually emptied from. While there are several kinds of bladder leakage, these are the most common. First, there's stress incontinence. It's involuntary leakage that occurs with effort or exertion, like when you cough, laugh, sneeze, exercise, or lift something heavy. This is different from urge incontinence, which is when you have a sense of urgency to pee that's difficult to defer, accompanied by involuntary urine leakage. Some people have a mix of these two types. There's also overactive bladder, a complex condition that involves a variety of symptoms, including urgency, an increase in the number of trips to the bathroom, and nocturia, which is when you wake up in the night because you have to go. These symptoms can sometimes be combined with urge incontinence. Sometimes, reducing symptoms can be as simple as changing your diet. But you should talk to your doctor about your bladder leakage before making any lifestyle changes.